you think about it, the full spent from under sixes to under tens, hand passing the ball five yards to a man in the corner, and then all of a sudden there's another fella running at him with a with a, a stick in their hand going, What in God's name is going on here? Okay? And down in Limerick, a, a games based approach is definitely the buzzword. Right? Huh? Right? It's, it's definitely a buzzword, right? In terms of everyone's wanting to use it, we all know why lads are wanting to use it, and it looks like it's working, right? So, uh, myself and the brother were involved in a team for four years, as I said earlier on, and we decided to adopt this, this approach to see, not as an experiment, but just to see can it work with underage kids that are 10 years of age, can they? can they grasp it and to be honest with you we 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 played a, we played a county final about three weeks ago and we had about a, a block of three weeks where they were all back from sunny kilkee it was brilliant we had a full we had a full um with a full cohort and we were able to do and replicate sessions that we would do with limerick and they were put in the worst case scenarios and by the time we got them to 15 their awareness of what was going on was absolutely incredible right and for me, a game-based approach is that you need to be able to make decisions on the hurling team. It's an instinctive game and you have to be able to make a decision. If I'm 10 yards away on a cone, am I making any decisions at all? No? Have I made any decisions? I've been told where to go, I've been told what to do, and then I've been told to sit at the back of the line. No. Yes, there are 100%, if you need to really zone in on an aspect of the game, yes, you have to bring it back to brass tacks, 100%, right? But then there are also areas that you can try and progress, and even if it breaks down, if you can get one pass, two pass, 